Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh and this is the Magni Heresy and this is the Magni 3 Plus. Uh, so I wanna answer a couple quick questions about this, but first I do wanna make a statement about uh, the uh, COVID stuff. So um, I can't really add a, anything of value here. I just wanna kinda say that, you know, I am really, really sorry to those who are affected by this. Um, my best advice, not that anybody asked for it, is listen to professionals. They're professionals for a reason. It's better to be overprepared than underprepared. My personal belief is that the best response right now is not to do nothing, but do not overreact because usually the biggest problem in these circumstances is other people. Now, real quick disclaimer before we get started, shit dead led this to me for a review. They're not paying, asking, or otherwise trying to influence my review in any particular way. All thoughts and opinions are my own. So the Magni 3 Plus and the Magni 3 Heresy. So last time we actually took a look at a Magni amplifier, um, it was actually the Magni 3 and it was a long time ago. And the Magni 3 Plus has definitely come out before this review. It's not a particularly new product and like usual, I'm pretty late here, but they've made some pretty great improvements. And both of these amps, I think are kind of listed under the budget amp region of things where, you know, they're coming in a hundred dollars. They're a screaming deal. They have good measurements now, they have tons of power. And so this budget amp is kind of turning into something that is still in the budget price, but it's performance well above its price bracket. And that's exactly what we all wanna see. And even though they're budget amps, they do not have a budget sound anymore. Now, real quick trip back to memory lane. The first high fidelity headphone that I bought was the standard HD 800s. Um, I actually ended up returning them because I really didn't like them. And one of the things that I bought with it was a original Modi and an original Magni. I bought a combination. And that with the HD 800, I didn't understand then, but I understand now it was not a good combination, right? You had the, the known glare of the Magni and the sharpness and the brightness of the 800. It didn't sound good at all. Like it was really harsh. I just thought that the 800 was was destined to be awful. <laughs> and I don't love the 800, but I have the 800S here. And you know, now this is a fantastic combination because it can handle the high end without that weird glaring, without that weird over sharpening. Now, what has been getting better from iteration to iteration on the Magni is less glare in the top end. Uh, that's seemingly, uh, I mean, up until now, where I don't consider the three plus or the heresy to have any glare in the top end. And that's, that's very impressive. The power has remained just about the same for both. They're both coming in at 2.4 watts into 32 ohms. Uh, so very, very powerful for a hundred dollar amplifier. And then the last thing that was fairly common to see is on high gain after about three o'clock, you'd hit some pretty strong distortion. And that has been uh, kind of fixed as well. And that is not an issue with either of these that I have here. So regarding the inputs and the outputs, they're pretty much the same as they've always been. From left to right on the back, you have an RCA input, a high and low switch, which is this amazing toggle as is usual. Then you have an RCA out, which is volume controlled, your on and off switch, which is another great switch, and then your power input. And then on the front, you have nothing but a volume knob and a quarter inch headphone output. And then of course the Magni branding and the three plus and the heresy are identical in terms of the form factor, their input and output locations. It's exactly the same amp in terms of the outside. Now the inside in here is actually where things get a little bit interesting and vastly different, completely different methodologies on the topology of the amps. So this three plus here is a discrete amplifier and the heresy, which is new to the Magni line is an integrated circuit amplifier, otherwise known as an op amplifier. Now internally, these are almost completely different, but what's surprising is how similar they sound. And I'll talk about that in a second, uh, but uh, just goes to show that you can get very similar results off of two different ways about going about things. Now to finish up the build, these colors are proprietary towards each type. So if you get the heresy, you can't get the silver and gray. And if you get the three plus, you can't get the red and black. And this red and black here is exactly the same on the shit hell. So if you're familiar with that in terms of the feel or the look, this shares those same properties. And then the Magni is pretty much classic Magni after the Magni three. Let's talk a little bit about sound here. Now, surprisingly, despite the two different methods of powering the sound out of here, um, I don't think I could tell a difference. 
Now, I know that the Magni uh, Heresy measures a bit better in, I think, high gain than the 3 does. But A being these things, I don't hear any difference between these that could not be explained by either placebo or a slight volume difference. These are very similar. Now I was kind of driving myself crazy looking for everything from you know the base level changes like how much treble does it have, how much bass does it have, what's the mid-range like, and then kind of you know further down the rabbit hole of what's the decay like, what is the location of this specific symbol, is it the same on the other amp, how far away does it seem, uh, what's the, the space in the the kind of room behind it sounding like, all that sort of stuff. And I got nothing between these two, uh, which is a bit disappointing because I was really hoping to be able to kind of explore the sound differences between the two different uh, methods, but uh, I don't really think there's anything, uh, anything to be found, at least to my ear. And I was using pretty revealing headphones as well. I have the HD 800S back there, as you can see, the Aria, the HU 1000 SE, um, I also have a Z1R here and a Z7. Now I also use the Zeus's and the A8000s and these new uh, Meze Penta Rise, Rise, whatever, Meze Pentas. I'm not sure what that REI is uh, pronounced like, but those and these are, are very, 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 very similar. Now there's one thing that this three plus may just be this particular unit, but when using IEMs, I noticed that the, the noise floor was audible sooner than on the Heresy, but it was only with IEMs, and it's only when you start cranking it up on high gain uh, do you really notice that. Otherwise, very, very quiet, and it could just be this unit, and it wasn't that much. It was when I really was like very specifically listening for that. You know, if you're playing music, you would never even get close to playing it that loud, so it, perhaps it's a bit of an unfair test. So regarding sound, I don't want to leave you completely empty handed by just copying out and saying I can't hear a difference between the two. Like usual, I was comparing against my reference, which is this THX 789 out of uh, the single ended performance because it's a little bit weaker down to the uh, close to the same power output as the Magni. Uh, and it's very, very clean. And between those three amplifiers, the single ended performance is very similar. And that's a good thing because Again, this is my reference for a reason, and it's the clarity, it's the cleanliness, it's the lack of distortion in uh, the signal, and its ability to pass uh, a signal in a very, I hate to use a, a super buzzword, but a very transparent way. You don't feel like the amplifier is coloring the noise in any particular way. Between this and the Magni, you know, again, we're getting into those slight volume differences, possibly placebo effect. I swear this is a bit cleaner. And if I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole of possible placebos, I swear the heresy is a bit cleaner as well. But I also know that both of these measure better than the three plus, And this is also substantially more, so whatever. I'm gonna call the performance though pretty comparable. Now, unfortunately, I'd love to be able to sit here and talk more about the sound quality of this amplifier. But if a solid state amp is doing its job, it shouldn't have a sound quality. It shouldn't have any tonal properties. It shouldn't have any different placement than another equally good amplifier. And that's pretty much what you have here. And I'm not necessarily calling the Magni equally as good as the 789. The 789 has more power, more features like balanced, more inputs, things like that. And I think that's gonna lead me into my conclusion. So these amps are very good amplifiers, but they're limited. They don't have a ton of outputs. Uh, they're not really the best designed thing for things like IEMs. You know, they only have one input, but still for $100, this is a total value. And these things uh, for uh, uh, one shit pun that I'll make in this entire thing are magnificent. Get it? Magnificent, magnificent. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. So yeah, Magni's have been budget recommendations since the day that they came out and they continue to be budget recommendations. But taking the place in the number three spot of the old Magni, I'm actually gonna move the Atom and the Liquid Spark down and move this up. It's got the best building class, good measurements, lots of power, two different options in terms of color and in terms of kind of the amp topology. So these things are, are awesome. They're really, really good. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Stay safe, sanitize. You know the drill. And until the next video, my name is Josh signing off. Actually, on a brief side note, I love the fact that this is $100. It's got about 2.4 watts of power. And then their 5 watt amplifier is $200. Double the power, double the price. And that's the Asgard 3, and I reviewed that a while ago. I'll probably drop a link to that video in the description down below. Great amp as well. 
but I just love the simplicity of that. Double the power, double the price. Uh, okay, I think that's it.